Hi, my name is Rebecca Clark and I work at the Rin Lake College Foundation Children's Center. Today I'm going to talk to you about potty training. So to start, I would like to say the process of potty training actually fulfills one of our goals through Teaching Strategy Gold. This is what we use to assess your child's development and learning and then we document it and show you what we've documented at our parent-teacher conferences. So it actually meets the goal social-emotional. Objective 1C regulates own emotions and behaviors and takes care of own needs appropriately. So when your child learns the process of potty training, they begin to develop self-help skills, they increase independence, and they also learn how to take care of their own needs appropriately. How do you know when your child is ready to start potty training? Your child may show a preference for clean diapers. They may begin to understand the meaning of terms wet or pee, poop, squat, pace. Um, they may begin holding their private parts. These are all signs that you may want to begin potty training. What you should begin to do is create a plan. You want to get a list together of all of your materials you're going to need. You may need diapers. You may want to start with pull-ups. You may need underwear. Um, you may need extra clothing and you may need to supply some of these things at your child's daycare as well. Um, another question you may have is how often should your child be going to the bathroom? This also depends a lot on the child. Um, it depends on how long they can stay dry in between trips to the toilet. Um, it is important to know this because taking a child too often can actually discourage them. Letting them sit on the toilet too long can also discourage them. Um, if a child is wet after being changed after 30 minutes, then it may be a good idea to start taking them every hour or every half hour if you want to try that. One thing to remember through this entire process, because it can be very stressful, is to be patient. Some children can be toilet trained very quickly and then others it takes a lot longer and that's okay. Every child is different. Remember to be patient and encouraging and also to stay consistent. Some things that might help during this process are to include some books in your bathroom about potty training, you know, the processes, underwear, diapers. Um, these can help to let them understand what's happening and um, can also give them something to do while they're sitting on the toilet. Also, don't be discouraged if your child only pees in the toilet but uh, continues to defecate in their diaper. That's also okay. That's pretty normal. Most kids start peeing in the toilet and then defecate last. So if this happens, just continue to shake the feces out of their diaper and put that in the toilet and let them flush it so that they know that that goes in the toilet. And then last, for nap and bedtime until they are consistently staying dry, you may want to go ahead and put a diaper or pull up on them while they are sleeping just to prevent any accidents and uh, to help them to keep from being discouraged from accidents. So that's my spiel on potty training. Thank you.